YouTube, Gary again. Uh, I've been gathering up materials to do my brick barrel shotgun build. Uh, very similar to the one Cryptic Crick did on his channel. I just figured I'd show you what I gathered up here. You got a piece of quarter inch 1018 cold rolled steel to make the, the sides out of on the receiver and probably a few other little parts and up there I got a piece of three-quarter inch black iron pipe with a one inch piece of black iron pipe driven and JB welded over the end to uh, reinforce it and up top there there's a piece of red oak I'm going to use for the stock same way Cryptic Cricket did and I haven't got very far yet, but hey, that's a start. I got a rough drawing down there uh, showing what, you know, it's going to be similar to. Uh, the foregrip, I'm not sure what I'm doing there yet. But altogether, it'll have a 19 inch barrel and be th 34 inches overall length, which is well within the uh requirements to be legal but uh we'll get started here and i'll give you some future updates on it hopefully i don't know i'm as slow as mud sometimes but we'll see what happens with it uh in some ways i think it's going to be easier than the 38 pistol i bought or did buy excuse me built but we'll see what happens uh, on a side note here, I don't know if you guys are aware of these. Uh, I'm getting the camera here. They call them, uh, some people call them a campfire in a can. Tuna fish fire. I don't know. Big old candle, whatever you want to call it. I've made several of these. I kind of get a kick out of them. They're easy, they're cheap. And... Just roll that cardboard up inside of a large tuna fish can and I normally put on these big ones I'll put four wicks and my wicks consist of pieces of paper towel rolled up tight and shoved down in them little corrugated parts then just pour melted paraffin all over it and the goofy things will burn for over three hours I mean it's just it just amazes me and also <laughs> something I discovered you guys might have already known it but I discovered that if you have a big old piece of paraffin I had a huge piece it was like 18 inches long uh, 13 14 inches wide an inch and a half inch and three quarters thick and I was having the darndest time getting it in the pieces to melt it so I got the bright idea I put it in the freezer and left it in there for two days and took it out in the yard out there and uh, you could bust it up really easily with a hammer then it got really brittle and broke up very easily so that might be something you need to know someday I don't know why but whatever okay uh, I might film one of these things here burning out in the driveway uh, one of these first nights when it's nice out and I'll take a little video of it and tack it on the end of here and you can see what they look like when they burn alright see you later thanks for watching hey YouTube it's Gary again it's a few nights later I finally got a chance to go out and burn one of these things Actually, it's the second video. The first one, I couldn't get the blooming camera to quit recording. And it kept going and going and going and going. But anyway, this is my campfire in the can, tuna fish fire or candle thingy. Anyway, I think they're kind of cool. If you just want to set around a little fire and not put very much effort in it, there you go. Cheap and easy to make. Alright, I'll try to tack this on the other video and get them uploaded. Thanks.